What's up you guys? It's Bree and welcome back to another horror game called Children of the Clay. But before we start, if you guys have never seen me before, hi, hello, welcome. Go and check out the other content and if you like it, please <laughs> like and subscribe. But let's go ahead get right into the game, shall we? Name, Artifact NR297. Site, Kurgan Burial Ground 7B Ural Mountains. Material, clay. Age unknown, function unknown. Oh! Hello? This feature resembles a human face. This seems cursed. I don't know about y'all. But I, oh, oh, okay. Okay, a bunch of different little, we can change the way it, oh, <gasps> change the way it turns, the fuck is this? Looks like a metal object embedded in the artifact. It doesn't seem like it's possible to extract it. Maybe I can find out what kind of metal it is. Hold on, can we use any other search for, can we search for metal? The earliest archaeological support of smelting is dated to be around 6,000 to 5,000 BC. The most common metals found on archaeology sites are iron, copper, lead, tin, zinc, and all of their alloys. Because iron is magnetic, it can be easily distinguished from the rest. Okay, so I'm assuming it's not iron. Can we, can we turn you around again? Anything, anything fancy? Anything weird? The face. Yeah, what exactly? That is weird, y'all. Can we... Can we look for face? I could not find anything relevant. That's so fucking strange. There's nothing else that we can... Oh, 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 oh. I seen a hand. Where was the hand? See? See? What is this? What is this? Can we pull down... Can we pull down the light? Yeah, the face. I know this. No, I don't want to look for anything. I want to move. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Turn it around, turn it around. Did this stick? The compass is detecting a magnetic field, so it likely contains iron. The iron object. Can we look for anything that has iron? The earliest known ironwork is dated from 3500 BC and made from meteoric iron. There are two main types of ironwork wrought iron or cold iron and cast iron cold iron has a long and varied tradition in the mythology and folklore of the world okay so our, is our job just to figure out what the fuck this little this little doodad's for because i don't understand what it would be folklore i could not find anything relevant yeah, that that makes sense. That makes sense. But like, can we... Let's turn this back around. Is there any way that we can pull this out, per se? Yeah, the iron object. I want to pull it out. Curious, this feature resembles a tail. What do we got, book? What do we got? I could not find anything relevant. The tail. What other features? Because we have like little arms, little doodads. And then we have the face on the front. There's nothing really etched back here. Except for, you know, the little, like, iron object we got. I want to turn you around. Let me turn you. Let me turn you. Obviously, we have, like, our little feet and our little arms and things. What else do we got? What else do we got? This is so interesting that I can't really seem to pinpoint. Yeah, and we have, like, little hands that look like they're holding things. Anything. What? Oh no, wait, there's a little hand up here and I keep trying to pull it. Oh! Oh, come on, let me pull it. Let me pull it. You know you want to. You know you want to. And it's not letting me... Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Our little magnifying glass. Hold on, let's turn this bitch back around. And bring this down to the bottom. Nah, I want to zoom in a little bit. I want to zoom in a little bit. You know better. You know better. Let's look up here. We didn't see anything on this side. Anything interesting over- Oh! They seem to be some sort of runes, but I don't recognize the type. Maybe I can find something in my book. Runes. I can translate the runes with this chart. The old Hungarian script or Hungarian runes is an alphabetic writing system used for writing the Hungarian language. 
After the establishment of the Christian Hungarian Kingdom, the old writing system was partly forced out of use during the rule of King Stefan and the Latin alphabet was adopted. However, among some professionals, shepherds who use a rovos stick to officially track the number of the animals, the script has remained in use. Old Hungarian letters were usually written from right to left. Okay, so that's interesting. So we gotta go back and see, oh, it put it down there for us, amazing. So it said they were written from right to left. So what's this little one? So it's U, where's the H looking one? Hold on, so we have the U and then we have, like I said, the one that kind of looks like an H. Where are we? Hold on, because there's the little stick ones. That's a Z. Oh, okay, U, R, U, R, I? No, I don't think that's an I, that's more towards the middle. So U, R, D. U R D U. Hold up. I can't fucking spell. Hold on. Let me put it in here real quick. U R D U. Now there's the one that looks like a backward C. N. And then the little mountain one. Where's the little mountain one? Hold on. Is that G? G. Erdunk. I've heard that. Hold on. I've heard that somewhere. Where have I heard that? Hold on. Erdunk? I knew I fucking heard that somewhere. Erdung, Old Hungarian is a shape-shifting demonic creature from Hungarian mythology and early Hungarian paganism who controls the dark and evil forces of the world. After Christianization, it was identified with the devil. One surviving folktale about Erdung involves one of the spawns of Erdung arriving to Earth and the shaman of the village consulting the spirits to learn how to trap the creature. Oh! Interesting. Some sort of dark liquid is flowing out of the holes. Um, I think that means it's time to get the fuck out. That's what I think it means. How- oh, oh, oh. Looks like the dark liquid loosened the metal object. Can we take it now? Come on. Let me- let me- let me take the thing. Let me take the thing. Come on. Let me- no, 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 no. I don't want to turn you around. I want to go back and I want to get the little, little iron thing. Iron thing. Let me, let me, let me pull it. Let me pull it down, please. Okay, wait. Turn it back around. Let me pull the magnifying glass. I'm begging. Hold on. It's like my hands don't want to. It's like my hands are telling me no. It's like my hands are telling me no. Hold on. Can I just grab it here? Yes. Yes. Hold on. Pull it out. Pull it out. Come on. We gotta for we gotta work for it, babe. We gotta work for it. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm literally I'll get it. I'll get it. Hold on, wait, can we do this now? Come on, let me move the Oh well let me do the thing. Come on, just just force it. Just force it out of there. Thank you. Wait, 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 what the fuck? Is it a nail? Maybe? Wait, hold on. And the bitch, it just keeps it just keeps fucking going. What? This is so interesting. Hold on, pull it out. It does. The, oh, 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 oh. Oh, Lord. I think I summoned it. <laughs> I think I summoned it. What the fuck was the crunching? What was the crunching? Hold on to it. Oh, Lord. Exempt from the newspaper article titled The Children of Clay. Just a few months after the disappearance of the esteemed archaeologist and the incident involving a broken artifact, the team working on the remote site and the Urals have made an astonishing discovery. A previously known underground chamber containing a dozen similar small clay figures have been discovered. They are already in contact with several universities across the globe to further study them. I don't think y'all should study shit. I'm just saying, cause what- And that's just how the- and that's just how the game ends. Listen, it's always the games that are so short that I want so much more. Because first of all, what the fuck was that? And second of all, that was so good in the lore. Again, like I love the games that even though they're so short, they're so, mm. And the use of stop motion, legit, legit everything. The dev, if you end up watching this, first of all, it is an honor. Second of all, please make a longer version of this game because it was too fucking good. And if you guys want more content like this where I am scaring the absolute shit out of myself, please let me know down in the comments below. And I will see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye guys.